Today we're talking about Celsius. Is it as bad as people say it is? And is it a crypto platform you should be using? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Ben. I've made over six figures trading crypto. I'm on a journey to 10K a month of passive income. And I want you to join me on this journey. Let's go. So the Celsius network is a crypto platform where you can trade, save, and borrow your cryptocurrencies. It's very similar to platforms like Nexo, and crypto.com and BlockFi. We're gonna be going over the pros and cons of Celsius and see how it stacks up next to other crypto platforms that we've talked about before on the channel. If you're interested in using Celsius after this video, use my link down below and we'll both receive $50 worth of Bitcoin as a bonus. Let's start by looking at Celsius loyalty program since that's where you can find a lot of its benefits. Celsius has a loyalty tier program based on what percentage of your portfolio is made up of Celsius native token and that would be CEL tokens. There are four loyalty tiers on Celsius, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. But having rewards based on what percentage of your portfolio is made up of the native token is a huge benefit to newer and smaller crypto investors. Crypto.com has rewards based on the number of crow you own, which means that to get the benefits on that platform, you need to invest tens of thousands of dollars into crow before you can get some of the best benefits. But by having rewards based on a percentage of your portfolio, you can invest any amount of money into your portfolio and still easily be able to get the rewards. I could put $1,000 into Celsius, have $250 in their sell token, and still get the maximum loyalty benefits. It makes Celsius an accessible platform for smaller investors. So it's really nice for beginners. But now the question is, are Celsius loyalty benefits even that good? Okay, so here we are on my Celsius. So you can see that I got my $50 referral. It finally came through. I got it right here. I used a different YouTuber's creator code. And basically to unlock it, you have to have $400 in their platform, which I did. I sent over $400 worth of XLM. It's down to like 300 because of the market going down. But here you can see the different loyalty tiers. So right now I'm the, the lowest, but then you can check out the different ones. So I would need five to 10% to unlock the bronze. So here you go. So I need five to 10% for bronze. 10 to 15 for silver, 15 to 25 for gold, 25 plus for platinum. And now what is the perks to this? So for bronze, you get 5% bonus rewards, silver you get 10, gold 15, and platinum 25%. And then the loan interest discount is 5% for member or bronze, 10% for silver, 15% for gold, and 25% for platinum. And so the bonus rewards, it's 5% more than what it would be. So let's say you're getting 6%. So 5% of 6% is 0.3. So you'd get an additional 0.3% on top of your 6%. So now you're getting 6.3%. And if you're platinum, 25% of 6% is 1.5%. So instead of 6%, you'd be earning 7.5%. So it does really add up. And then there's a chart that like shows you the differences between just the normal and then the platinum rewards. In the future, I plan on adding some Celsius tokens to this account because it is nice to take advantage of these higher percentage because it really does add up. And I'll even show you a list of the cryptos here. So you can see the stable coins and then you can see the cryptos. For example, synthetics SNX is 14.05% reward but with the platinum, it's an additional 25%, so it comes out to 17.85%. We have Matic at 9%, comes out to 11.5%, DOT at 9% to 11.39, and so on. And one of the things to keep in mind for coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they have it set up so it's like, you can have a certain amount, or after that amount, then you get less. So for example, Bitcoin, for your first 0.25 Bitcoin, you'll be earning 6.2% if you're not any of the tiers. And if you're at the platinum, you'll earn 7.81%, which is like the highest that I've ever seen for Bitcoin because on crypto.com, you're earning 6.5%, the highest tier that I have. And then for Ethereum, you're earning 5.35% on your first 30 Ethereum or 6.72% on your first 30 Ethereum. So once you have 30 Ethereum on there, the rest of it will be earning 4.4%. So that's gonna like bring your average down. So it's really nice for new users to have some of their coins on here. But it, if you had more than 0.25 Bitcoin, I would just send the 0.25 Bitcoin on there and then stake the rest on like crypto.com or somewhere else because you'll earn 
higher rates. And then same thing for Ethereum. If you have more than 30 Ethereum, put any extra Ethereum on a different platform. Then that will give you the max amount of potential that you could be earning. And this also applies for stable coins. Their stable coins rate is 8.5%. But then with an additional 25, it comes out to almost 11%, which is pretty great. Now the drawback for having these increased rates is a quarter of your portfolio on this account has to be made up of Celsius tokens, which is not necessarily a bad thing because these exchange tokens seem to perform very well at random times. Like we've seen BNB in 2019 go from $5 to $30. Now, if you're staking Bitcoin and you have one whole Bitcoin on here, so your rate is 6.2% for up to 0.25 Bitcoin, then it drops to 3.05% for any after 0.25. If you had one Bitcoin and you're thinking that you're earning 6.2%, you're actually earning 3.84% because that 0.75, which is a three fourths of it, is earning 3%. So that brings your average down a lot. So you really wanna maximize your staking and rewards using these up to its limits and then stake the other parts elsewhere. Okay, so now let's move on to loans and how they work on Celsius because this is where we get into the biggest selling points on using this crypto platform. One of Celsius' primary business strategies seems to be providing the best and most accessible loans to its users. Without any loyalty benefits or owning any sell tokens, anyone can get a loan on Celsius with an APR as low as 1%. On Nexo, the lowest rate they offer is 6.9% APR. And on crypto.com, you have to invest tens of thousands of dollars and a crow before you can even get an APR on of 1%. To get this rate on Celsius, all you have to do is have the assets to back up the loan. To get the lo lowest interest rate on your loan, you would need a loan value ratio of one to four. For example, to get a loan worth of $1,000 on Celsius at 1% APR, you would need $4,000 worth of assets in Celsius to back up that loan. So no matter how much you have in your Celsius portfolio, you can get an affordable loan. But the interest rates can go up quickly on Celsius. If your loan to value ratio is one to three, the APR skyrockets to 6.95%. But to reduce some of the risks involved with giving out loans at this rate, Celsius requires you to back up the loan with enough assets to show that you're a responsible user. Something to watch out with these loans, however, is that if you aren't careful with your investment, you can either end up losing that money you use to back up the loan, or you even end up paying 7% APR on your loan instead of 1%. As we looked at the tiers before, the rates can drop by 5% if you're in the bronze, 10% if you're in silver, 15% if you're in gold, and 25% if you're in platinum. That means with platinum loyalty benefits, our 1% APR can go down to 0.75%. If your loan is paid in sell tokens, then the APR rate is reduced by 25% automatically. So there are two different ways on Celsius to get a loan with an APR as low as 0.75%. Crypto back loans are a relatively recent development in the crypto market, and you can tell that Celsius is pushing hard to make their platform stand out as the cryptocurrency platform to use for getting loans. So make sure to do your own research and dig deep into them before you decide to try them. I like to cover crypto trading platforms on this channel, and if you like this video and want to know more about crypto trading platforms like Celsius, you should check out this video where I talk about Nexo and how it's compared to Crypto.com. If you like this video, remember to drop a like and subscribe. And remember as always, keep it in the green.